Okay, so we exported the character. Now we are in O3DE in the editor and we're going to take a look at the FBX data. We're going to pick now, so this is this is the new thing. Now that we are exported from Blender, Blender always adds a a new node that is always going to be called by default root node that armature. This is going to be well, we're going to select not only for the character but also for the motions. This is going to be our root bone from now on. We're going to click update. And after we click on that, yeah, there is some warning, some information, but at least it's successful. You see, we don't have that error anymore about uh, vertex streams limitations. So the actor has been cleaned up by Lumber Mix a lot. And look how it's uh, now it shows up in the asset browser. This is all showing everything about it. So let's take the actor and drag it into the scene. Let's get closer. Okay, so we have a mesh. Of very important to note is that the character, look at what is with the 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 root of the character is now at the character's feet. That's something else that happens with Lumber Mix a lot. Because by default, uh, characters and motions coming from Mixamo are in around the hip area. And for most animation systems in game engines, uh, including O3DE, no exception, we like to have the root motion bone at the feet of the character. So we can see now that the character is facing in the positive, this is the positive Y direction, which is really great. Even though in, in Blender, it looks like it was facing Y negative, but that's kind of the default Blender reference, which looks correct now here. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna talk about is uh, fixing the material. So the character looks in O3DE just like we expect from uh, Mixable.